quick video on the value of cuts when we're trying to find the minimum cut and when we don't count an edge in evaluating a cut okay so uh, many of you get confused about what it means for an edge to go from the source to the sink okay and the key the, the key thing is I keep saying from the source side of the cut and then you keep saying from the source to the sink you're missing the key you're missing the key phrase it has to be from the source side of the cut okay side of the cut so for example let's have a look over here I'm gonna find the value of cut 2 C2 and C4 so looking at C2 this is the cut okay clearly that's the cut now if you were, if you got scissors and you cut this network into two pieces right you would have this side okay that would be you know let's say you're holding this in your left hand okay and in your right hand let's say you are holding the other piece of paper and that's this piece of paper now in your left hand you know the, the green paper so to speak that contains the source and the right paper right that's going to contain the sink T so now when we are evaluating the value of this cut C2 we will not we will not count edges which start on the blue side okay it's got nothing to do with if the arrow is pointing this way or the arrow is pointing this way or the arrow is pointing this way it's irrelevant it doesn't matter the point is you have to look at where is the edge starting now looking at that value of six see that edge six it's starting here it's starting there and it's ending there that's the end of that particular app like that that edge from the arrow see the arrow is pointing this way so it's going from this vertex to this vertex so it's starting over here right that's the start okay and the end is at B it's going from F to B because looking at the arrow we can see starting at F going to B now F right it is on the sink side this is the sink the blue piece of paper if we cut it that would be on the right side on the sink side of the cut and its end is on the source side of the cut that's why we do not include it we will only include edges which start from the source side and end on the sink side so for example I wipe this all off and hopefully you can see look at B and we'll you know what we will look at each each line one by one um, hopefully you can see so let's we're looking at this cut 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 oh look it's cutting this edge do we count this edge or not it's starting at B ending at C now B is on the source side and end is C which is on the sink side so we do count the 14 so I'm gonna write 14 there okay so I've cut it I'm going 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 oh look we come across another edge this edge is starting at F and ending at B now F would be on the sink side and going to the source side we don't count anything we only count stuff that start that goes from source to sink side of the cut B was on the source side it was starting on the source side look at the arrow it starts at B goes to C that that arrow here tells us that it's starting at B going to C starting on the source side going to the sink side that's why we counted the 14 this uh, num the six the edge with the six in it right it's starting on the sink side going to the source side that's why we do not count it and then finally so we don't count it we're gonna ignore it we go on and look it's coming across another edge now this edge is starting look at the arrow it's starting at S the source side and it's ending at F which is the sink side so we do count it source to sink side of the cut okay so we can't put the 20 in so the value of this cut will be 34 similarly if you look at C4 so I'm gonna wipe this off now oops wipe this off now we're looking at C4 now if you look at C4 once again you know this is the cut we're following the cut from the cut look we came across an edge okay now this edge do we count it or not it's going it's starting on the source side okay this is a new cut this is a new cut so if I were to shade the two different 
um, cuts in. So this is a completely new cut. That would be the source side of the cut, right? This whole thing is the source side of the cut. Imagine we cut this diagram with scissors, okay? That's the source side, and the sink side will be this one. Very small, yes, but that would be the sink side of the cut. That is the cut, that is the piece of paper we'd be holding if we cut it with scissors. That side would be, would have the sink in it. This is the side with the sink in it, and the green one is the one with the source in it. So we will only count stuff that goes from source to sink. From source to sink. We don't count anything, any edge that starts on the sink side, starts on the blue side, and ends on the green side. Okay? So we do count the 10 because from source to sink. So we count. We'll put 10 here. Okay, we're going along, going along. Oh, look, we come across a new edge. This starts on the sink side. Look, it's starting at D. Look at the arrow. Right? It doesn't matter what the angle of that line is. It could be angled up, could be angled down, left, right, doesn't matter, completely irrelevant. Completely irrelevant. Looking at the arrow, and it's starting on the sink side of the cut. It's starting at D, and it's ending at C. So it's going from sink to source. We don't count this edge, because this edge is going from sink to source. We don't count it. Okay, we, we ignore it, we go keep going, we come across another edge, look at this edge, look at the arrow, looking at the arrow, and it's starting at F, which is the source side, and it's ending at D, which is the sink side. So we do count it, so I'm putting in a 20 here, and the value of this edge will be 30. Now do note, we're not trying to find the minimum cut in this question. The purpose of this particular example was to uh, was to demonstrate how we find the value of a cut. Of course, we find the minimum cut in order to find the maximum flow. Okay, but for the purposes of this video, we're only talking about which edges we count when evaluating the value of a cut. So I hope that's clear. Let me know if you have any questions.